Hi guys. Um, so, I said in my last post on mesomorph, endomorph, and ectomorph body type, a friend of mine asked me, um, she's an endomorph like me, and she's been training for a while, she's been trying to eat correctly for a while, but she's not getting the kind of results she's, she has been hoping to get. So she was asking me, okay, I know my body type now, what kind of exercises should I do, how should I eat to be able to get the kind of body I want. So I thought, okay, well, let me do a post because I'm sure there might be some people out there who are actually thinking about thinking along the same lines but haven't gotten in touch yet. So I just thought I would share. I'm an endomorph, like I said earlier, so I guess I have a bit of experience in that regard. But apart from my own experience, I'm just going to be talking largely on what the experts say about the endomorph body type. Um, there are three things that I've been able to pick out from majority of the texts on body type. Three things that an endomorph should do in order to help lose weight and achieve the goal they desire. Three things. Number one, watching what you eat. I know, you should, I know it's easier said than done, to be honest, because when you come, someone like me, it's so difficult for me to watch what I eat. I like food a lot. But for an endomorph who is serious about watching about losing weight. Watching what you eat is the most important thing because you might decide to, to, to sleep in the gym. You will never lose weight. And the reason I say that is because um, early on last year, I used to spend a lot of time at the gym. I was getting the muscle, but then I was also big, so I was bulky. I wasn't losing any weight. I was getting the muscle, but I wasn't losing any weight. And I decided, okay, well, I know that I can't watch what I eat 100% of the time. Okay, even if I make an effort to watch what I eat, 60 or 70% of the time is going to make a difference. And trust me, it has made a huge difference. There is no two way about it. For an endomorph who wants to lose weight, you have to watch what you eat. And in watching what you eat, you have to reduce your carbs. And when I'm talking of carbs, I'm talking of complex carbs, not even simple carbs, not even things like cake and, and all of that. That's what I'm talking about. You have to reduce your complex carbs and increase your protein because the experts say, experts in nutrition say that most of the time when we eat carbs, what we don't expend turns to the body, turns, as, turns into fat in the body. On the other hand, protein rarely ever turns into fat, except if you're eating protein in large quantities. So that's why the experts advise eat more protein and less carbs because number one, protein keeps you fuller for longer. Number two, protein will help your muscle growth. So if you're trying to look for muscle tone, then protein is the most important thing. But all in all, watch what you eat. Count calories. It's very difficult to count calories, especially for some foods that don't have um, nutritional labels and all of that. But at least measure what you eat. Have a measuring cup or something so you know what you're supposed to be eating. If you need... Okay, let me give you a rule of thumb. Your plates should have your fist size in carbs. This is all you should eat in carbs. Really, this is all you should eat in carbs. And when I say carbs, I'm not talking about vegetables. You can have as much vegetables as you want, as much. Vegetables are fiber, they are very healthy. But when it comes to carbs, this much. And when it comes to fruits, please limit your fruit intake. Fruit has sugar. And sure, the matter is, sugar turns into glucose. And when glucose is not used, it stores as fat. So, if you're trying to lose weight as an endomorph, limit your fruit intake. Banana is sweet, but it has a lot of calories. I know that it has potassium, but it has a lot of calories. Mango, all of them, you have to reduce your fruit intake. Number two is aerobic training. Aerobic training burns fat, carbs and fats primarily as fuel. So, you have to incorporate aerobic training at least three to five times a week. To be able to see any significant change, you need aerobics. Consistent. You can't do five today. Next week you do one. Upper week you do three. Next week you, you don't do anything. You 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 are you are not do, you are not going to see any changes. Your aerobic training has to be consistent, at least between three to five times a week. I do aerobics four times a week, and I have made it in such a way that I have rest days in between. You must do aerobics to be able to see any significant change. And aerobics in the sense, aerobic or cardiovascular exercise is anything that moves the large muscle, that moves the large muscles of the body, which is the lower body. So that includes running, brisk walking, 
jogging, spinning, using the elliptical, or even high intensity exercises, those things burn fat. And they will help you to be able to burn the fat. Because, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to number three. Number three is strength training. But no matter how much weight you lift, if it's covered with fat, nobody's going to see it. So aerobic training is really important for you to be able to burn the fat so that people can see the muscle tone from strength training. Then number three, like I said, is strength training. You should um, lift weights at least three times a week. As well, um, like the cardiovascular exercise. And strength training is important, not just to give you muscle tone and to tone flabby areas, but also to help increase your metabolism because the metabolism of an endomorph is naturally slow. It's very slow. That's why they tend to stuff fat easily because I know people who don't eat so much, but they are still fat. I know for a fact, I know a couple of people who, when we go out to eat, they're looking at me like, oh my God, you eat so much. But they are still fat because their metabolism has already slowed down. So you need strength training to be able to increase your metabolism. It's really, really important. So, well, I hope I've been able to answer the question. But then if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask me. But don't forget, as an endomorph, the three things you need to lose weight. Number one, a calorie controlled diet, which includes loads of protein. Not loads of protein, but at least more protein and less complex carbs. Little or minimal simple carbs and little or minimal fruits. A lot of vegetables is, is beautiful. Number two, aerobic exercises, things that increase your heart rate so that your body starts burning. Instead of carbs, your body starts burning um, lactic, lactic acid and all of that. It gets into the anaerobic threshold. Number three, strength training. It will help tone your body and it will also help increase your metabolism as well. So even when you're resting, metabolism is increased and you're burning calories at a higher level than ordinarily. Anyways, I hope I've been able to answer the question and thank you so much for listening. Like always, I would really appreciate your feedback. Bye.